some cases the sounds can be heard by an observer using special apparatus, most tinnitus is audible only to the sufferer. Research at the Royal National Institute for the Deaf in London has included an attempt to simulate these sounds using an electronic music synthesizer. Some examples are presented on this tape, and they are fair representations of what the individual hears continually inside his or her head. Who did it? 